Now we will add interactivity to our three-dimensional application. It's logical to start by adding interactivity to the camera, which will allow us to move around the object. Since our application gets more complicated, we need to move declaring of variables from the local constructor scope to the class scope. To do this, it's enough to move declaring of a variable one level higher and assign to the variable an access modifier. In this case, it will be private. The first action necessary for animation is to call camera's random method not once, but in sequence for each frame. For that, you should create event handler on enter frame and call render inside it. It's very simple to add keyboard and mouse control to the camera. There is a special class in Alternativa for it, Simple Object Controller. We will need to create its instance. In the constructor's parameters, event source is set. In our case, the easiest way is to use stage and the object which is going to be controlled by it, the camera. The last necessary parameter is movement speed. Let's set it to 200. So that the controller can work correctly, we should update it the same way as we call rendering for the camera. This is enough to start operating the camera. We save the document and run it. Using keyboard, we can move forward, backwards, left and right. Using mouse, we can rotate. It's not that exciting to fly in the space with only one cube in it. Therefore, we can do so that camera always looks at the cube itself. To do this, it's enough to give controller each time a command look at the origin. Now we add motion to the cube itself. For that, we should move declaring of its variable outside the constructor scope. Let's choose the easiest way. Let's add the cube motion along one of its axes. In order to orientate within the cubes and camera's movements easier, we will add plane relative to which the cube will move. Here we see how the cube is moving away from us. Now let's try to do so that camera looks exactly at the cube. To do this, we need to give a command to the controller to look at the cube's coordinates. The cube's coordinates are stored in vector 3D format. Therefore, another method should be used, look at. Method local to global allows to convert local coordinates to global ones. For that coordinates within the local space should be set. In this case, it will be 0, 0, 0. As a result, the cube is moving away and the camera keeps on following it. The camera still can be moved within the space. So, here our lesson on interactivity is complete.